Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to integrate Tableau with Python. You might have gone through my previous video where I have integrated Tableau with R, Tableau with other programming tools and other, other languages, other additional third party tools. Today we are going to see what's the process to integrate Tableau with Python and what are the prerequisites for same. The so first of all, the prerequisites for integrating Tableau with Python is that you should have both Tableau and Python install in the same environment. And for integrating Tableau with Python, we need to set up TabPy server on the same environment where Python and Tableau is installed. So to download and install TabPy server, you can follow this link. So that's the link github.com slash w slash tabpy from where we can download tabpy server in zip file so this is the one way of setting up tabpy server including anaconda so this will automatically configure tabpy server and anaconda on your environment another way of doing that another way of installing is so the next way of uh, another way of setting up python uh, tap by server on environment is I quickly switch on to my VM or my environment where I have my Tableau as well as my Python installed and I switch on command CMD and here I simple pass a command PIP tab pi server and uh, once you press enter it will start look for that server so, oh, sorry, I got an error. It should be PIP. The command should be PIP install tab by server. And in my case, I have already configured, I have already downloaded and installed tab by server. So that's why you see I'm getting a message that is already satisfied, requirement already satisfied, and it will download the required packages and install it. And during installation it may take some time it may take around 20 to 40 minutes if you're installing it first time because it would be downloading uh, anaconda and configuring it same as well and once the installation is completed we can look at the directory we can get the path and the path would be c drive users bisp app data local programs python and site packages so i'll switch to bisp so the uh, BISP app data local PIP PIP app data local programs programs Python 36 lib site packages and tap by server so it, it, it has been installed successfully. This is the one way and from here we can start the server. So I simple click on startup and the server is going to be start. So it got a message one file copied and you see the server has been started successfully. It says initializing tab pi done initializing tab pi and web service listing to port 9004. This is the default port where the server is going to be run. Now the next thing we are going to do is we will be going to integrate W with Python on this particular port number. So let me launch my W desktop. So my W has started up. Now for connectivity, I'm using a data set and there will be going to test it. So I click on Excel and uh, I look for sales data set, which is already installed on my, which is I have already added on my desktop on my VM. So let's open it and so if you have some existing workbook you can use that as well I'm using it for from the scratch so that you can understand it very well now to connect to tap by server click on help setting and performance manage external service connections server is local host and port number is 9004 that's the port number on where the web service is listening where, where the tab by server is running 9004 and i simple test it when i click on test connection i got a message successfully connected to predictive services 
let's assume I close this server and then I try to connect. Then I click on test connection and it will throw me an error message that an error occurred while communicating to the external services because there is no such services are running on that particular port. So I'll just start it up again. And click on help. Manage external and test connection. Okay, okay. Now let's take an example that where can we use this TAPI server or how to use this TAPI server. So basically how what's the in what ways we can use this Python into Tableau. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Python calculated field in Tableau to capture all those records where profit is greater than 3000 or profit is greater than 4000. So this is just a, I mean, it's a very <clears throat> small example I'm taking so that I can make you understand easily. So for example, I simply drag and drop region. And when I drag and drop profit, it is showing me these are the regions and these are their profits. So I want to create a calculated field with to capture to store all those records, all those profit and add those records into a list where profit is greater than 3000 or 4000. So I'll click on create calculated fields and I give this name as let's say profit calculated field. We can use this function. We can use Python functionality for concatenating two strings. We can use it to perform some uh, operations. So here I write script bool and definitely it will return the list. So comma sum. Okay, that I'll pass later on. And here in this string, first I create lst is equal to it's a list. Then I run a loop for i in i in arg1 argument1. And because it's a Python, so we need to take care of the <coughs> syntaxes. We need to take care of the spaces. So list dot append i greater than 4000 and it will return lst return list and i pass sum of profit as an argument so i return sum of profit as an argument it's, it's showing an error it says uh, comma or parsing is missing so one bracket is missing and it's done. Click on OK and let's test it. So I simple drag and drop region and I drop profit calculated fields. So it will perform the calculation and the issue is name ARG1 not defined. OK, so I'll just test it again. ARG1, it should be let me underscore arg1 okay so let's uh, change it and click on okay now as you can see as soon as i dropped it appears in colors and only this one is showing in false so this is false so this is coming in uh, blue color and the positives coming in different colors so we can change the colors we can set the colors for true or false so we can predict that okay all those regions where profit is greater than 4000 as per condition it should be appear in green color and rest of the thing rest of the colors or rest of them they will appear in false will appear in this color and assign palette and apply and okay 
so now this helps us to perform an operation where we can easily in we can easily uh, d predict we can easily display the values in the form of pictures or in the form of images in form of graph so this is more easy for an end user to understand so that's the way how we can integrate tableau with python using tab file server tap our server in upcoming videos we will be going to see some complex example we will be going to use financial data for that and we'll be going to perform some uh, financial operations on that using and using python into tableau till then keep watching have a nice day goodbye